job. Uh, there's uh, a man called Josh <laughs> on the show. We had a real live nurse on our show, and um, he was our lifeline. So every day we show up, he would be like, Josh, what am I doing today? <laughs> and uh, we were so lucky that we had such a skilled, incredible, real nurse who was able to kind of guide us through and communicate the thought process that you go through. But to be honest, I surprisingly didn't need to do a lot of research on the nurse aspect because my mom's a nurse and I didn't realize until I came onto the show how much I had absorbed just in terms of just in terms of energetically because my mom's quite quiet she doesn't talk too much about the job um, in our family but so I actually thought I would need to kind of ask people for more advice but surprisingly I didn't have to look for myself luckily I was able to really uh, I know my mom inside and out so I was able to really tap into what would it look like for Nas if she was in this situation and I guess my mom's legacy is really coming through because I go oh I, I kind of I just inter intrinsically knew how to react or how to uh, the you know because it's it's tricky as a nurse you care so much but you don't ever want to alarm a patient you don't ever it's this fine balance of never clocking out because that's bad but um, you never want to be a nurse that's clocked out but you don't want to be a nurse that shows too much vulnerability in front of a patient because your job is the most important thing and you need to put them at ease. So that was probably the trickiest part on the show was keeping your heart completely open and then you know they'll give you scenes where you walk around the corner after and you, just, you let it out. And it makes me wonder if my mom does that actually. <laughs> but um, now, that we're talking, well, now that we're thinking about it. But yeah, I, th I think that would be, um, you just, it's just, that fine line. The dynamic with, between us five nurses being junior nurses, new to the job, never having done it before, we all lean on each other in different ways. I have a different relationship with every character on the show. My, my relationship, Naz's relationship with um, Grace, Ashley, Keon, Wolf, they're all completely different. So. I think what's neat is that I lean on them in different ways or I have different kind of relationships with them, opinions of them and they help to highlight different aspects of my personality and I think we all do that vice versa. So it can be a great thing or not a great thing the show will reveal. Sometimes people can butt heads, sometimes you know you're holding, there's an amazing scene I have with Keon where we both um, are just having the worst day ever and just bought, we both bottled it up and then he lets out a, a, he kind of lets it out of the bag a little bit that he's been going something going through something really traumatic and then I kind of reveal that I had two that day and just that that understanding just whew, there's a healing process that you get to go through so I think that's and that creates bonds that will last a lifetime so you really get to see real friendships build and develop on the show, which makes it so special. Working with this cast has been awesome. We all care. We all show up. We all work so hard. We all really want to be here. And we all really care about the show. So when you have all of those ingredients together, it makes for the most rewarding experience that you could ask for on a film set. It's been great. <laughs>
arc for Nas. I think the most challenging part of the show for Nas was um, trying to process all the real grief that she had to go through. Because it made me realize, and it makes me want to ask nurses now, now that I'm going to be done the show, the first question I want to ask my mom, actually, and any other nurse that I meet is that's been at the job for a while is, did you go through a lot of grief at the beginning? Like, did it did it knock you down? Because you go through school and you're mentally, you're told that it's going to be hard. You're told, like, I think every character came into the show knowing that they could potentially lose people. But to actually go through that process for the first time, and the, the most incredible thing is in the pilot, um, you get to see all the characters in real real time go through everything for the, you get to see what reactions are for the first time ever. And that is really exhausting and really demanding. And um, I think the challenge was to really try to, for me as an actress, the biggest challenge for me was doing my best to authentically tell what that may look like. And you hope that you've succeeded and you won't know until people watch it and you know, um, you kind of get that feedback. But th that was the biggest challenge for me. I said to myself before coming into the show, I really want to authentically tell what it's like to be on the job as a nurse for the first time. And what does that look like? And how big is, how, and then by the end of the season, you actually, and hopefully if, it, if um, I've done my job right, you see how they learn to slowly manage it. Because you, my mom, I mean, she's incredible at her job and I'm like, man, does she go through this stuff? She must, she's been just a nurse for so long, you know, and it breaks my heart when I think about it, how she's been able to cope and keep her heart open. My mom's been doing, been a nurse for years and she's never closed her heart up. And it just, the show gave me newfound respect for her. To have Nas represented on screen is really emotional for me. It's so important. Uh, it, I it's almost hard to talk about. It's almost hard to, to articulate it in words. I never grew up seeing someone who looked like me on TV, period. Never, not one example. The closest I had was Princess Jasmine and she was a cartoon and she was Middle Eastern. I never saw anyone on TV look like me. So it's really emotional for me because when I got this role, just my cousins alone <sighs> they said, wow, dreams do come true. And maybe I can do what I love to do. <sighs> and it was so special. So um, it's really incredible. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm in this seat. I can't believe I was born in a time in a generation where I was able to pursue my dreams and it was able to come into fruition. Because there was a time in, in the past where someone who looked like me, had the same dreams as me, same aspirations, probably more talented, more beautiful, more capable, didn't have that opportunity. And maybe chipped away, chipped away, chipped away, but you don't know her name. And it's women like her, whoever that person was, the many women who have allowed me to be in this position. So I do not take it for granted. It is an honor and it is a privilege. And I feel so lucky and I feel so lucky that they wrote this role to give me the opportunity to help tell the story and for me to live out my dream. So it is so special. And the thing is, my, both my parents immigrated from India and Nas immigrated from India. And my parents immigrated from India to have a better life in Canada. And Nas is doing the same. And so she's trying to live a life of authenticity and, and to find her joy. So man, oh man, <sighs> um, I told myself at the beginning of the show that like, I know many people must have auditioned for this role, but I was going to not let myself down or let the show down. And I was going to pour my heart into it and work my hardest because it's a moment in time. And I hope it's the first of many to come. And there's so many other people who just excel over me. And I hope there's a time soon where girls go, that are Indian go, it's not hard. That would be amazing because it was really hard for me. So um, yeah, it's, it's a dream come true <laughs> in every sense of the word.